What's up guys? Jeremy here for RC Skipper, bringing you an unboxing of a fun little uh, little boat we got here for a winter project, the Mini Alligator Tours. So what you see here is basically a skiff, comes with a two-channel radio, I believe an NIMH battery and a pretty crusty charger, but it'll get the job done. Uh, without much ado, let's get to opening. So this is an airboat, similar to what you might see like you know, in the Florida Keys or something like that. Very scale, and that's exactly what we're gonna use it for. We're gonna match it up with like our trail honcho, have some fun with it, upgrade the fan, upgrade the motor, have some fun with that, put some action figures in there, run it on the snow, all sorts of fun things. It's about 18 inches long, seven inch beam, height is about seven and a quarter, weighs just under 25 ounces. Now you can upgrade the pack, but you know, that's this is not really meant for all day running, you know. I mean, I suppose it is, but being NIMH, nickel metal hydrate, that is. Get your instruction manual right out of the box. Get that out of the way because I probably won't read them until something breaks, and then I'll say I should have read them because I'm an American. I mean, I'm American, not American. Anyway, here is the Aquacraft. This little thing, <laughs> we're going to have some fun with this. With our sponsor, RC Nightmare, we're going to make sure that this thing is the coolest, most badass alligator tour boat out there. So you got a brushed motor, it looks like. Actually pretty standard design. Now this, to me, is a lot like uh, axial products in that, you know, the reason I buy an axial is because I really like um, the platform. And that's exactly what this is for us. We're going to, I mean, it actually allows you, I mean, it looks like you could basically, with not too much trouble, upgrade the motor, you know, maybe put a bigger fan in, but then you're going to run into the edges of that cage. So you're going to have to put a different cage in there if that's how you want to go. It controls the rear rudders here, steering servo, which is located under the seat. We'll get you some uh, close-ups. Looks like a Hobbyco steering servo. I can't imagine it's the greatest, but hell, this little thing's going to be fun. Let's see what else we got in here. Packaging, do they actually Let's see what we got in here? This package of parts weighs more than the whole boat. We've got our gigantic NIMH pack. Holy hell. <laughs> and a ridiculously large charger. What I like about this is that it's a cigarette lighter charger. Now, because we have a lot of RCs, all of our chargers plug into a car battery, so that's kind of nice. But what's nicer, if you don't have that, is popping it right in your cigarette lighter. You guys are out at the lake or just having fun. You can charge it, or even if you're on a boat, plug it in out there. The only drawback to this is apparently that's the only place you can charge it. That seems odd. Unless you get an adapter for your wall, which actually we have laying around from old cell phone days. That's kind of a, I don't know. I like it and I don't like it. I like it for the convenience, but as somebody who already has the ability to mobily charge, yeah, I wouldn't use it anyway. But if you didn't have any other charger, it would kind of be crummy to either A, have to go out and buy an adapter for your wall to plug your cigarette lighter into, or B, like only charge it in the car. Some chargers may or may not have that adapter right in there too. I'm not sure. Here's the antenna of your, uh, you've got AM radio. You know, hey, the price point of this thing is under 100 bucks. So you're getting exactly what you're paying for. And if you're into modding or making, you know, having fun with scale, it's Aquacraft AM radio, 27 megahertz. Uh, you know, this little guy is going to give you lots of fun as you kind of mod it out and, and decide, you know, what is it capable of. I'm real interested because, you know, Three months out of the year in Wisconsin, we've got plenty of snow on the ground. 
I'm wondering how this thing's going to handle on the snow. It might actually be a loads of fun. So that is the alligator tours. We will give you a, uh, this is by Aquacraft. My apologies, Aquacraft. We'll give you a close-up view here after I fix the antenna. And if you have any questions about the mini alligator tours, you know, the fact that it says mini makes me wonder if there's a bigger scale one. And if there isn't a bigger scale one, then there should be. Maybe we'll make it. I'm not sure. But if you have any questions about the alligator tours boat, post them up on down below or shoot on over to our website at rcnetmer.com. We have a great forum there, teeming with people that love to talk about boats, planes, trucks, cars, helis, whatever you like. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you real soon.